I think it's interesting to see if you're actually being led or you're seeking. They're very different. Mm-hmm. Right? So it's like, um, you know, are you actually, is someone putting things out to you? Are you being exposed to things? Are you, are you letting yourself be exposed to things, right? Because as you said, there's a choice. Mm. And um, is what you're taking in actually, are you just being drawn to something, right? And then following and is for that to happen, someone's leading you down that path or something is leading you down that, right? Which is different in my mind to making a conscious choice to pursue something and then seeking. Yep. I get where you're coming from and I agree in the context that you're putting it. Yep. But also I would say that, and this comes back to the conditioning part of things, mm-hmm. we don't know. Like there's a point where people just simply don't know whether they're yeah. being led or they're act- actively seeking. And, and that's why I bring that and up. You can actively seek or think that you're actively seeking something that you think that you want, but it's not. You're just being conditioned to think that way. Do you know what I mean? That's right. So that's and still seeking. We're on the same wavelength right now. And that's a thing. It's like, are you actually seeking something out or are you being led? Mm. And you don't know it. Mm. Like you don't realize it. And I think that happens to all of us. Totally. Right? Because there are mechanisms of our brain that people know how to hack essentially. Um, how to get our attention, how to lead us down a path. That's happening to us all the time. That's what marketing and advertising does, right? Mm. So um, I think that's really important to note and to think about as well is you need to work out if you're actually being led or if you're actually truly seeking based on your choices.